Hello everyone. So I'm here once again to give you another lesson video. So this time it is about combination. So this is one of the topics under counting. So if you have time, please check out the other videos um, like permutation, factorial, and multiplication principle. Now what is combination? So combination is a selection of some items where the order of selection does not matter. So one example is choosing two crayons from a set of four crayons. So we have a set of crayons here. We have blue, red, green, and yellow. So one possibility is it can be green, yellow. But since combination, the order doesn't matter. So green, yellow and yellow green will be counted as one. So it is the same outcome in combination. So that is just again counted as one. Now another possibility is we can have or we could have selected <clears throat> blue, red and the other one can be yellow and blue. But the question now is what is the total number of ways we can choose two crayons from a set of four crayons? Let's have Two more examples here. Selecting five students from a class of 20. So imagine you are selecting five students. So for example, A, student A, B, C, D, E. So it means the same thing. It is the same of group of five students. If we change the order, let's say E, D, C, B, A, because we're talking about the same set of five students. So that is just counted as one in combination because based on this context, the order doesn't matter. The other example is picking six questions to answer, three from set A with five questions and another three from set B with six questions. So later on, we're going to uh, discuss how to find the total number of ways of selecting. We'll go on up to the formula combination of R items from N distinct items and this is denoted by NCR, or combination of N taken R is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial multiplied to N minus R factorial. Okay, so we have already discussed permutation and combination. So what is the difference between the two? So for permutation, as you can recall, the order matters while in combination, order doesn't matter. So when you answer problems involving uh, counting techniques, make sure that you identify whether the order matters or not, okay? Because in some questions, it is not specifically stated that this is a question on permutation or this is a question on combination. So you should be the one to identify that. Make sure that you know how to identify Okay, so of course the formulas are different. So permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. While in combination, it is combination of n taken r, which is ncr, uh, and that is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times the bracket n minus r factorial. So there is an additional r factorial there. I'll give you an example to illustrate that. A uh, simple example is permutation of two letters from A, B, C. So since this is permutation, so order matters. So A, B, and B, A, they are counted differently. A, C, C, A mean different arrangement. B, C, C, B, totally different at all, totally different. So we have a total of six permutations if the order matters. Now let's say, for instance, we don't want to consider the order. So let's have the combination of two letters from uh, A, B, C. So we have combination of uh, three taken two. So the A, B, B, A, since order doesn't matter, it's just counted as one. A, C, C, A is just one. B, C, C, B is just one. So that means we have a total of three. Okay. So here we have a six N, B, R, or uh, three permutation taken two taken two is six the combination of three taken two is three so for you to get three six divided by 
the value of r, which is 2, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. All right? So that's one way for me to illustrate the difference between these two formulas. Okay? Please take note to remember these formulas. And let's uh, try this one. Let's try evaluating first the combination. So let's see. Combination of 7 taken 4. Following the formula, we will have 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 7 minus 4 factorial. And uh, that will be equal to 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 3 factorial. So let's expand that. It becomes like this. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. So I stop at 4 factorial because I know that I can cancel this out later on. Alright, so let's uh, do the cancellation now. So 4 factorial over 4, 4 factorial is just 1. And then look at 3 and 2. We can cancel that, cancel that out with 6. Okay. So we are left with 7 times 5 and that is equal to 35. Okay, so that's how you evaluate a uh, combination of n taken r. Now, we're using this calculator again, so if you want to use calculator, scientific calculator to evaluate ncr, of course, first thing to do is to type the n value, and then press shift, or the second function, and then press the division button, because above of the division button is the NCR. And of course, type the R value, then the equal sign. So again, all you need to do is to look for the NCR button. So any scientific calculator can have this NCR function. All right, now let's have uh, this example number one. So let's have this concrete example. In how many ways can you choose two crayons from a set of four crayons? So, which means uh, our n is 4 and our r is 2. So, let's use the formula 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplied to 4 minus 2 factorial. And we will have this and of course expand the factorial and then simplify or cancel out the common factors and we will get 6. Let's go to the second example. In how many ways can we select five students from a class of 20? So this is our n and r is equal to five. So we will have combination of 20 taken five. Following the formula, we will have 20 factorial divided by five factorial times 20 minus five factorial. Get the 20 minus five and that gives us 15 factorial expand and then cancel out the common factors once again and we will have this 4 and 5 cancel it, cancel it out with 20 3 and 2 cancel it out with 16 and then the remaining factor is 6 multiply the remaining factors and we will get 15,504 ways to select 5 students from a class of 20. Example 3. In how many ways can a student choose three questions from set A with five questions and three questions from set B with six questions? So please look at this as two different events. Okay, so we have uh, first event is choosing uh, three questions from set A of five questions and then set uh, event 2 is choosing uh, three questions from set B with six questions. So we can actually use the multiplication principle. If we can still recall, we can actually draw boxes here. We're in the first box representing uh, event for set A and then the second box for set B. All right, so for set A, so since we are choosing three from five, that's gonna be combination of five taken three. And then for the set B, we will have combination of six taken three. So you can use your scientific calculator uh, to do this, but of course, uh, using the formula, we will have this one. Okay, so 5C3 will be 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial, and then multiplied to 6 factorial divided by 3 
factorial, and then 6 minus 3 will give us a 3 factorial. So um, let's have this side to simplify the first one. So 5 times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2. I didn't anymore put times 1 because times 1 anyway is the number itself. Alright, so that's for the first one. Okay. The second, uh, for the second event, 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 3 factorial will, will give this will give us this all right the expanded form so 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 3 times 2 cancel out the common factors and this will give us okay so for the first one it is 10 multiplied to 20 so therefore we will have 200 ways for a student to do that in an exam so if the condition is like this choosing 3 from 5 and choosing 3 from 6. Okay, so once again, thank you very much. Hope that you learned something from this lesson video. So I made it very simple for us. And for the next video, we're going to talk about uh, some challenging problems involving combination. And there could also be a problem where we combine the two concepts of permutation and combination. So. Once again, thanks to Slides Carnival for the uh, free PowerPoint templates. Now, I would like to leave you with this quotation. The best way to multiply your happiness is to share it with others. So this is what I'm trying to do now. And of course, my passion, my happiness is to teach mathematics. And I would like to share it with the other people. So once again, thank you very much and see you next time.